Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we are sharing our unconventional life with you from Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Today we are going to share our five things we love about Vilcabamba. Plus one interesting observation. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time here in Vilcabamba. This is an amazing place and that is why we decided we wanted to share our five favorite things with you. <laughs> Plus one interesting observation that we've made here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number one. Number one. Is the weather. <laughs> yes. I'm wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt, and it's winter. <laughs> I am wearing shorts as well. It's been wonderful here. It was a little cool when we got here, but nothing compared to the cold, damp days of Cuenca. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining at all. And if you want a break from the winter weather, this is a great place to come. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about being here is that July, no, June through October is the dry season. Mm -hmm. So I was reading in the Madre Tierra handbook, <laughs> or whatever, or guest book, excuse me, that they have two seasons, the rainy season and the dry season. And I don't think we'd want to come during the rainy season because I heard it can get kind of brutal, mm -hmm. but the dry season is amazing. Mm -hmm. And the temperature is always going to be anywhere from low 60s to mid 80s. Mm -hmm. It's about 3,000 feet lower than Cuenca. Mm -hmm. It's a little over 5,000 feet here. Quink is about 8,500 feet, so you're going to get warmer temperatures with that. Yep. So if you're looking for a break from the cold Cuenca July weather, Vilcabamba is a great place to visit. Yes, it's supposed to be the driest month of the year. Mm -hmm. The second thing we love about Vilcabamba is the natural beauty. It is amazing here. Breathtakingly beautiful. Vilcabamba sits in a valley and we are surrounded by mountains and mm. lots of different trees, including beautiful fruit trees, lots of greenery and gorgeous flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Inca used to vacation here in the summer. Mm -hmm. And the, the name Vilcabamba is a, comes from a Quechua word, which means sac the sacred valley. Right. I guess they also call this the Valley of Longevity. Yeah. This was one of the original blue zones, but because they didn't have very good record keeping here, they uh, didn't actually include it in the final the final cut. Oh, wow. But people live a long time here. We see lots of really, really, really old people. <laughs> really, really, really. Really old. The indigenous <laughs> people do seem to live forever here. <laughs> I think that that's throughout Ecuador, actually. Yeah, Ecuador is definitely the land of longevity. Yes, it is. But definitely, if you want to see some beautiful scenery, come to Vilcabamba. Mm-hmm. The third thing that makes Vilcabamba so amazing is the hiking. Yes, we have enjoyed a lot of hiking here, and I'm really happy to say that since JP's ankle was all swollen. Yeah, I was <laughs> able to walk still. Yay! <laughs> we really enjoyed our hike along the Rumi Wilco Trail along the river, and I'll link the video for that one up there so you can see how beautiful it was. Yeah, and it's pretty expansive. Actually, there's tons of different trails around here, and even a road I think counts as a trail. Mm -hmm. We took a really cool walk the other day, started off along the road and then it kind of took us through the countryside and then we connected up with another trail that took us back to Vilcabamba. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of great options around here and there's easy trails too so the stuff we did was pretty flat obviously. Yeah. But if you really want some challenges there's that Mandango. Yeah you can hike up to Mandango, the sleeping Inca. I can't say that <laughs> without thinking of Bohemian Rhapsody and <laughs> Thunderbolt of lightning. Yes. <laughs> Thunderbolt Can you do of the lightning. Fandango? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to sing anymore, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's the other park that everybody uh, went to? Podu Podocarpus National Park. Podocarpus. Podocarpus. Yeah, it's hard to pronounce. Podocarpus National Park. It's mm -hmm. a national reserve. It's really big and it's about an hour from Vilcabamba. Mm -hmm. It's toward Loja. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We didn't end up going on that trip obviously because of JP's ankle, but when we come back, we're planning on going and exploring Podocarpus more. Yep. And maybe some of the more challenging hikes, although I don't ever see us going all the way up to the top of Mondongo because I heard it's a really steep scramble and pretty scary. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> no, but if you are into hiking or if you just want to walk and enjoy the scenery, you have lots of great options here in Vilcabamba. The fourth thing that makes Vilcabamba so amazing is the food. Yes, we have eaten and eaten and eaten and feasted. 
And when we go home, we're going to be dieting and dieting and dieting. <laughs> I know, I have to lose a little bit of weight after this trip. There's lots of awesome restaurants in town. We ate at the United Falafel Organization, I think it's called, or UFO. UFO. <laughs> and definitely go sit in the back in their Hardeen or the Garden. It's adorable back there. Mm -hmm. And we had some awesome salad and pizza at, what is it called? Ur Urku, Urku Warmy? Yeah, Urku Warmy. Yeah. They were super nice in yeah, there. Yeah, it's a vegetarian pizza and kind of Italian place mm -hmm. with Indian spices. Yeah, yeah, because the owner's wife is from uh, India. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he had some really cool stuff to put on the pizza. Yeah. Yeah, stuff I wouldn't have thought about. Yeah, and the pizza was so full of vegetables. Mm -hmm. JP said he's going to make that at home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start making us veggie pizza at home. Yay. We ate several times at Miko's Oasis Verde, which mm. is amazing. Oh, man. Miko is an artist. And yes. I'm going to link a video of his right up there so you can watch us interview him and eat his delicious food. Yep. And the resort food here at Madre Tierra is spectacular. Mm -hmm. We've been told that the food over at Ishkaluma is amazing. There's lots and lots of options. You are not going to go hungry Yeah, here. they put a lot of thought into mm -hmm. presentation too, not just the taste. I mean, the taste is amazing, but it's also neatly presented. Agreed. Mm -hmm. We've thoroughly enjoyed eating too much. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> The fifth thing that makes Vilcabamba so amazing for us is how tranquil and peaceful it is. Oh my gosh, está muy tranquilo aquí. Hopefully I said that properly. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so relaxing and I keep saying to JP over and over again that I cannot believe how quiet it is here. It seems like a lot of people are just extremely relaxed. They hang out around the park in mm -hmm. El Centro. You have the restaurants and in the park, the kids are playing, the dogs are playing, the the adults are relaxing, having a beer with their friends or, yep. or whatever. It's just it's so relaxing and peaceful here. It is. Much, much slower pace than even Cuenca. Oh, definitely. Yeah. A much slower pace for sure. And we think Cuenca is tranquil. Well, <laughs> and like the cat driver said yesterday, they don't have any discos here and mm -hmm. you're not hearing house alarms going off or mm -hmm. car alarms and stuff like that, which mm -hmm. help to the calmness yeah. of the area. Although on Saturday morning and Sunday morning both, they had fireworks going off at 5 a.m. <laughs> from like 5 to 6 every 10 minutes, they would set off the fireworks, I'm guessing, to remind people to go to church. Yes, but I think you, there's no escaping the fireworks in yeah, Ecuador. Yeah, but it's been quiet other than that. It really has. It's mostly just birds and chickens and the occasional donkey. Yep, I did hear a cow. Oh yeah, we heard a cow too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very, very quiet. Our interesting observation is the eclectic mix of people that is here in Vilcabamba. Yes, we've seen people from all over the world. There's obviously Ecuadorians and mm -hmm. a lot of indigenous people. But last night at dinner, we sat next to a French couple and their child. And then on the other side, we think they were speaking German. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. There was another table of English speakers. Yeah, it's been awesome to hear all the different languages mm -hmm. and people from all age ranges here as well. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of young couples here with some starting their families or with families and there's a bunch obviously of older retired people here and all ages in between like mm -hmm. us yeah and we've even seen some canadians while we were out in a boot <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what to say after that <laughs> actually what i was thinking is how the guy from the ufo uh, restaurant is uh, moved here with his family from texas oh, so yeah. what do you think he's like mid late 20s yeah there are people here from all over the world. And I know it's like that in Cuenca too. We talk about that a lot, but I think it's more noticeable here because Vilcabamba is much smaller and it gives mm -hmm. the city a really interesting vibe. We really, really like does. it. Yeah, yeah, we've really, really enjoyed our time here and are already looking forward to a return visit. Yes, we're very excited to come back within the dry season, of course, mm -hmm. and um, go and check out some of those other hikes and eat too much yep. and then relax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you found our list of things that make Vilcabamba great helpful. And if you did, please leave us a like. Yep, and we will see you all back in Cuenca. Ciao. Ciao. You were going to start though, right? Yes, I know. I was waiting for you to stop fidgety, okay. Mr. That's fidgety. Ice. Making sure. <laughs> we want to share what made... No, how did I say? I say we we thoroughly share. enjoyed our time here. Yep. We have thoroughly, we thoroughly... <laughs> okay, stop. You got to give a good, a good pause. Deep breath. Let's start again.